Hey guys, it's Jexplur, and uh, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get like a hallway or a room or something, some sort of scene uh, into Blender, so you can make your renders like a lot less boring. Now this is, there's going to be a second part to this. Uh, this is the first part. Uh, in the first part, I'm just going to be telling you guys how to get this into Blender, and then in the second part, I'll be telling you guys how to apply like realistic materials to make it look even better. All right, so first, you obviously just want to get what you have. Uh, in Roblox Studio so that we can export it. Um, I'm using uh, the hallway I made for a YouTube tutorial, or it was like a speed th build thing I made a while back. So I'm going to be using this. Um, there is one thing you got to make sure before we can just export this. Um, it's not going to apply to everyone, however, if it does apply to you, it's very important that you follow this extra step. Um, as you can see, there are different materials I have here. So like this one has metal, um, I have like a neon over here. A lot of this is mostly metal. I have a, I use a glass one here. Um, so the thing is, Roblox's um, source of materials is internal. It doesn't translate out like when we export it. So when we import this into Blender, it's not going to recognize that. So basically, if I have two different parts, let's just quickly add in two parts. Part, and then let's duplicate this. If I have these both at the same color, let's say they're both medium stone gray, and one of them is, I don't know, granite. No, I must not do granite. Let's do marble, and then the other one is like, I don't know, concrete. These are both the same color, but they, we obviously want to be able to give them different materials and stuff and textures once we go into Blender. However, because the material system is totally internal, it will export these and give them the same like texture, so when we try to change the texture for one of these, it'll change it for both of them in Blender. So if you have, that is the case, if you have multiple parts that have the same color, but different materials, you're gonna to wanna to export them separately. So uh, first thing is just to group everything together, or you just hit Control A, and group everything together in one group by hitting Control G. I selected everything by pressing Control A. Now we have everything grouped. If you don't have that case and you don't have to, you know, do what I said and export everything separately, or not everything, export yourself separately, you're just gonna wanna right click on model, uh, export selection, and then just locate, you know, wherever you wanna save it on your computer. Uh, please, you should make a new folder just to keep everything organized, um, and then just you know, hit save, and then that's it. If uh, you do have, like I said, multiple objects with the same color but different materials, you're gonna wanna separate them and put them into like a new model so that uh, when you export the first one, you're not exporting that stuff with it. And then, like, I don't know, if I randomly decided, hey, let's export this part separately, uh, or let's say these two things, separate them, group them together, and then, uh, let's go let's scroll to the top, then you can just export this one, and then export this one separately, so now they're separate. But of course, I don't need to do that, and I've already exported it, so we're good. Now that we have that done, we're going to open up Blender. Uh, if you don't have Blender installed for whatever reason, go to the link in description, blender.org. And then once you've loaded it up, just hit uh, new general under new file. Uh, yours will be a little bit different than mine, most likely. You'll probably have some stuff like a cube here um, and a light and like a camera. Uh, you can just get rid of everything, just hit control, or no, just hit A on your keyboard, not control A, just A, and then hit delete, and everything will be gone. Um, once you're in Blender and you got all this done, you're gonna go to file, import wavefront obj and then locate wherever you save this on your computer and then find the obj file and double click on it or hit or click on it once and hit import obj uh, this because this should, depending on how complicated your thing is uh, it might take a second um, didn't take that long for me but now we have it in um actually, let me just quickly enable Uh, I can't, apparently, for some reason, I, well, I was gonna enable screencast keys, but I don't have it. Uh, in order to move around, if you don't know already, you can click and hold the middle mouse button, like the scroll wheel, if you click and hold it in and drag it, you can rotate, hold shift while doing this, and you will pan around, and then just scroll up and down to zoom in and out. Um, if your camera is being like kind of weird, and like you're rotating in a weird place, click on your object and hit the period key on your number pad, uh, I don't know how to do this if you don't have like a number pad, not not period on your keyboard, but like on the separate, the one two, it just has numbers and enter and stuff, but that'll center your camera. You can see this looks a little weird. Um, 
I'm quickly going to go into material preview mode just so we can take a look at it with lighting. Uh, what we're going to do is, uh, well, there's actually not really much that we need to do other than material stuff. However, uh, just to set it up for next uh, video, we're going to click on this, hit tab to go into edit mode. Uh, everything should be selected, but if it's not, just hit A. Uh, and then you're going to hit Alt and J. That'll just turn any triangles into uh, quads. The reason why we want quads is not really that important. Now we're just going to hit P by material. And this will take a second. Now we have everything separated into individual objects based on whatever material it has. When I say material, I don't mean material like concrete. I just mean that's the way, that's what they call te like different textures. So everything with the same quote unquote material uh, will, you know, have the same look. Um, if you don't really want to do like extra textures and stuff, and that's just not, if you don't want to do that, and you're not going to watch the next video. Uh, I'll just quickly show you. If you go into shading tab up here, you can just give things different, different you know, textures. Like if you click on something, you could change the color by clicking on base color. Um, let me hit Control Z to undo that. You can change the roughness to make something more glossy. You can increase the specular, which gives a kind of simple, which is kind of subtle. I don't know if you can tell. You could, if you want something to be metal, just turn metallic up to one. Um, but in the next video, I will be showing you guys how to go from this to something with super realistic materials. So that's it for this video. Please watch the next one because I need the views. Uh, please like and please subscribe. Subscribing is free and it really does help me out. Uh, but I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.